Okay, your video is recorded and edited, and now it's time to upload your video to YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to upload videos on YouTube to make sure you're doing everything right and your newly created video gets as many views as possible. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll give you some bonus tips on how to promote your video and get more views. Okay, so here we are at youtube.com, and before we upload a video, I wanna show you how to change some of the upload defaults, which will help you from not making mistakes and make it quicker to upload videos in the future. To do that, you wanna to go to YouTube Studio, and you can click on the icon here, and then go down to YouTube Studio. And then for the settings, you'll find in the bottom left corner right here, and then go to upload defaults. What we recommend doing for visibility is setting your videos to private, or you could also set it to unlisted, but you don't want it to just automatically upload to public because you wanna double check that everything's correct before you publish the video. And then from there, you wanna to go to advanced settings. And here you can change the type of license. If it's the standard YouTube license, that gives you some copyright protection or creative commons, which essentially lets anyone use uh, your video content freely. You can choose the category. This I don't think is all that important. There's very few categories, but choosing a category, having all your videos set for that. You know, the next thing would be the video language and caption certification, which is essentially if your video had aired on US TV. So that's not gonna apply to 99% of people putting up content on YouTube. The next thing you wanna think about are the comments. And so what we have here is hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. You can just allow all comments, hold all comments for review, or disable comments altogether. Comments are a really important part of your channel, but you know there are some people that are gonna leave some stuff that's not so nice, so let YouTube kind of flag those and not put those up on, on your videos. So once that's all set, you can save. Another thing to take a look at is if you go under channel, and then feature eligibility. And what you'll see here is features that require phone verification. And so there's a couple things that are gonna be really important when it comes to uploading videos to YouTube. One is videos longer than 15 minutes. The next thing is custom thumbnails. So as you're gonna see as we're uploading the video, your thumbnail is one of the most important things besides obviously the content of your video, live streaming and content ID claims. So all of those things require you to verify a phone number. If you take a look at this, this is essentially what this same screen looks like for a channel that, that, that has not been verified yet, but it's really easy. Just enter our phone number, enter the confirmation number, and you're good to go. Okay, so now it's time to upload our videos. So to do that, just click on this create button that has the little plus symbol. Uh, you'll see the exact same thing if you go to your, if you're just at youtube.com as opposed to the studio, it's a little bit smaller in this version. But if you click here, you'll see you have the option to upload video, go live or create post. So this is for the community tab, which if you have over a thousand subscribers, but what we wanna do today is just upload a video. And then from this screen, you can obviously go and select the file or to drag and drop the file that you're looking for. And so I have I'm basically gonna show you our YouTube SEO video that we published a couple days ago and just run you through this whole process. I always put as the file name of the video, one of the key phrases that we wanna rank for. There's no proof that this actually worked, at least in 2020, but I think previously YouTube was looking at the name of the file and anything else to figure out what the video was about. So you can see the file name right here. It's kind of up to you. And so what's gonna happen is you can see that it's 31% uploaded, it's saying two minutes left. You can do some of the work to get your video ready to publish while this is processing, but basically everything on this page you can fill out and then you can't move forward really until um, the entire video has uploaded and processed. But why don't we get to work on some of the more important things. So what you'll see here is the title. And so it fills in whatever the, the file name was, so YouTube SEO. Um, and then you have the description below. And so what we usually do is just fill out a Word document or a Google Doc that has all this information pre-written. And so you can he see here, this is the title that we want for the video. And then we can copy and paste that here. And then the same thing for the description. You know, we recommend writing at least 100 words for your description. Uh, you can see everything that we have here that I'm copying at the moment copy and paste that into the description. 
So that's going to include the, the keywords and, and everything else as well, just like giving YouTube more information, YouTube and the viewer more information about your video and then links to any other things that you're talking about. Another new thing with, with YouTube are YouTube chapters. So you can basically split up your video into chapters using timestamps and you just need to start the timestamp, the first one with, with zero. And then there you can add the other timestamps and then it'll look like this in your videos to be split up and it'll, it'll display each of the titles for the different sections. And then below that we have more detail about what this video is about. Okay, now moving on past the description, you'll see the next thing is the thumbnail. So YouTube will actually pick three images from your video that'll be auto-generated, but obviously as the video hasn't been processed yet, you're not gonna see that. But we don't really recommend choosing those images anyways. You wanna spend a lot of time and create a custom thumbnail image. And to do that, you need to verify your account, one of the things that I was showing you earlier. And if you want, I'll link to up above a video on how to create an amazing thumbnail for your YouTube videos. You should definitely check that out, which will help you get more people to click on and view your videos. And so let's add the thumbnail for this video right here. Okay, the thumbnail is done. And then moving on, the next thing, so you should, for any video that you're uploading, should be part of a playlist. So playlists will help re, uh, relate your videos to other videos on your and other channels. You should be creating content that's semi-related and to be able to put it in playlist, which will help your videos show up as suggested videos and other videos on your channel. Make sure that you choose a playlist or create a new playlist for the videos that you're uploading. The next thing, is this video made for kids? So this is something new with um, the COPA law that went into effect there. The law has been in effect for a while, but YouTube added some new things to the platform within the last year or so. I'll put some links down below if you wanna read more about that. But you know, our channel about marketing isn't focused on stuff for um, primarily focused for kids. There may be some children watching, but that's not really what our channel's for. So no, it is not made for kids. And then below you have more options. And so here's where you wanna click if you're doing some type of paid promotion for, if this video has anything to do with product placement, sponsorship, endorsement, things like that. And then below you'll see the tags. Um, we have a whole video related to tags. So tags can help your video get more views, but it is less important than what it used to be. You should be spending most of your time outside of creating your video content on your thumbnail title and a little bit on the description, but then also add some of the main keywords in the tags as well. And so again, in our, in our Google document, we have all that set up. And so you can use up to 500 characters and just put a comma between each of the phrases. And so here we go, I'll copy or I'll paste those in. And then you can see here, so I used up 454 of the 500 characters. And then vidIQ, um, the free version will recommend tags that you can see that we're, we're using already. And then here's where some of the stuff that I set up in the upload default. So you see the, the language, caption certification, you can add the recording date and video location. I'm not really sure that this really helps with much. I don't ever add it. Down below that, you see the standard YouTube license that we chose. Do you want your video to be allowed to be embedded on websites? So this is something that can help with YouTube SEO. Um, we embed videos on our website and it's we don't mind if it's embedded other places. It helps you get more views. And then do you want to notify um, people who subscribe to your channel about this new video? Here's the category. Here's the, the part about the comments. And so you can see right here that the video actually, while, while we were going through this, has finished processing. So now we can move on to the next step, which is monetization. Okay, so if your channel's not monetized yet, you can skip ahead to this point in the video. But moving on to what the options are for monetization. So the first thing is, do you wanna monetize this video or not? We do wanna monetize. And then it's gonna ask you where will you allow ads to go to show up? So display ads, overlay ads, um, non-skippable video ads, and then at what point in the video? So before, during, and after as well are the different options for where you can have your ads show up. And then the next part of it is your suitability for ads. Some advertisers don't wanna advertise on some types of channels or some type of content. And so the thing is, you wanna be straightforward with YouTube here, don't try to, you know, 
not tell them if there's something in your video because they're gonna figure it out. And so if you scroll down, you'll see inappropriate language, adult content, violence, shocking content, harmful, dangerous acts, drug-related content, hateful content, firearms, sensitive issues, etc. So this video has none of that, so I'll click on none of the above and then move on to the next section, which regardless of if you have monetization or not, everyone has these options. The first one are end screens. So end screens I'll show you right now. So if you click on add, it essentially allows you to add content to the end of the video. So this is one of the most important things to help your channel grow is keep people on YouTube watching videos. And so you don't wanna tell people your video is ending and you want basically the end screen to come up and recommend them to continue watching other content on YouTube. And so what you'll see here is you're allowed 20 seconds of an end screen where you can place content. So you can see I can import this from the latest video. There's a video, uh, oh, this is about YouTube SEO. So obviously that's not the one that we're recommending. So let's say we recommend the YouTube banner video. And then this is the, the the button to subscribe to our channel. But obviously if this is the whole 20 seconds and we don't have the part where we share these yet, the video is essentially, we added this, we moved me over and then added this blue screen along the side where we put up our content. So you'll see if this plays, you know, that I'm gonna be signaling to other things on this video. And so if someone doesn't know the video's ending and all of a sudden you say, hey, watch this next video, you have a good chance of that person, you know, not closing the tab you know, watching that next video, and that allows you to get more views, more watch time, and potentially monetize your channel more. End screen, super important. You, we can save that now. Okay, so now moving on to cards. So cards are basically this right up above. You see the text come out like that. And that's a great way to get people to watch other content on your channel or send them to other people's channels, basically to keep people on YouTube. What you wanna do as you're creating content is to think about what other related content someone might wanna see while they're watching a particular video. And you don't wanna necessarily put cards in the beginning of your video because you don't want someone leaving your video within the first minute or two if it's a longer video. Here at around 11.01, I essentially mentioned our video on YouTube tags. And so I can add this at 11.01 and then if I just if I show you this plane you'll see me mention it in just a second and then the text will show up right there okay so that's the first one and then there's another one at 13.34 and so we can add another card add another video I talk about our Squarespace video and so we'll add that at 13.34 and then again, you'll see the same thing as, as I'm talking, you'll see the text come up on the screen for our Squarespace video. Definitely think about using cards in all of your content. Save that. Okay, and then moving on to the, the last step of publishing your content is visibility. And so like I mentioned where you set the, the upload defaults is we just have our set to private so we can just go through and double check that everything's right before we publish the video. Pretty much the same thing happens with Unlisted where it's not gonna publish it and notify your subscribers yet. So we usually end up scheduling our videos and if you wanna know what time to publish your videos at, what we recommend doing is going to your channel analytics and then going to the audience tab and then if you scroll down, you see this graph right here. And so we're gonna publish this video on Friday and you can see there's some viewers at 7 a.m. and then it really starts to pick up around nine or 10 are the busiest times and so We'll, we'll probably publish this video um, early Friday morning before that that peak of viewers gets onto the channel or gets onto YouTube. You know, we would set this for tomorrow at say 7.30 a.m. and then we could just click schedule and there we go. Video will be set to public on October 30th at 7.30 a.m. Here's the link for the video, et cetera, and you're good to go. Okay, so as promised, some bonus tips to help you get more views and grow your channel. So tip number one, we talked about this earlier, but use a custom thumbnail. If you want help learn how to create a custom thumbnail, I'll link to a video up above right here where we'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to create one. But the click-through rate of your videos, that's basically the percent of people that click on your videos, is one of the most important metrics of all of YouTube. And so if you think about someone scrolling through YouTube, check 
deciding what video they wanna watch? What is it that's gonna get them to stop on your video and say, yes, I wanna watch this right now? The thumbnail is the most important thing there, and so spend a lot of time and create great thumbnails, and you'll be surprised how many people will be clicking on and viewing your videos. Tip number two, also to do with the click-through rate, is the title of your video. So that's the second thing people are gonna see after the thumbnail, is the title of your video. And so what you wanna do here is keep titles under 60 characters. You don't want it to be cut off on some screens. And then the next thing is, like, what is it that represents your video as succinctly as possible that someone also makes them decide, hey, I need to watch this video right now. So another thing is the title is very important for YouTube SEO. So YouTube is looking at this to figure out what your video is about. And so you wanna include the main keyword of your video in the title, and that'll help you show up in search results as well as help YouTube find other videos for your video to show up as a suggested video. Spend a lot of time on those first two, the thumbnail the title to get people to click on and start watching your video. And then moving on to tip number three is use cards and end screens and that'll keep people watching videos on YouTube. So they're already watching your content and you wanna recommend other videos for them to watch. And when they get to the end of the video, you don't wanna give this long thing saying, hey, well, to wrap up this, we're finishing, um, people are gonna leave. But if you end your video, the end screen comes up and you say, watch this video, you're gonna get people clicking on that next video and watching more of your content. And then moving on to tip number four is embed your video on your website. So if you have a website, it's important to embed your videos there. There's a study done by Brigsby that showed that the more embeds and links a video had, the more views it had on YouTube. Moving on to tip number five is share your video everywhere that you can in the first 24 hours, especially. And so YouTube looks very closely at how a video does in the first 24, maybe 48 hours, which will decide the fate of your video going forward. And so what we like to do is share the video in the community, to our email list, all over social media, online forums such as Quora or Reddit, but just basically share it with as many people as possible get views to your videos right away, and then YouTube will find more people to share your video to going forward. So if you wanna learn more about how to rank your videos and show up in search results, check out our YouTube SEO video right here. Also, if you wanna learn how to make amazing thumbnails and get people to click on your videos, check out that video right here. Until next time, bye-bye.